Hello folks, Double Tap here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are brewing the John Bull Traditional Ale Beer Kit. So let's crack on and get this brewed up. Okay then, so this is a subscriber recipe and this one is Cheshire Home Brews one. He picked the John Ball beer kit, 500 grams of spray malt, 500 grams of brewing sugar and 50 grams of dry hopping on day four. And we're going to use the, because it's a traditional English ale, I thought we'd use the Jervin English ale yeast and the English hops. So let's have a look at this kit. So Sir John Ball traditional ale uh, makes 40 pints. We've got a little bit of bump for not loads, best before 2019. Right then, John Ball beer kits are high quality malts using over 150 years of brewing experience. Standard instructions enclosed will make beers to the highest quality flavour and strength. The ingredients is barley malt extract, malted barley, water, hop extract, dry yeast in a sachet. So, okay. We've got a packet of yeast. And we've got some instructions. Before I go on with these, I want to get this label off if I can. Some of them do come off, some of them don't. Right, is this one going to come off? I think it is. Because I want to get this in some hot water so it's easier to get the extract out. Okay. Right, we've got a little bit sticking. Well, eh? can tell I played cricket when I was younger, can't I? <laughs> right, let's get this in the hot water. Okay, that's in there. All that'll do is it'll make the malt more liquidy, so it'll be easier to get it out of the tin. What I have been doing is, I've had all our gear in our sanitizer. So, I wanna, Get this out. Okay. I'll go through them instructions in a second. Got some paper towels here. Now, we won't be using all of this, but what I like to do is sanitise everything that, I've, that I'll uh, be using because today I'm making a few brew kits. Okay, that's that. What else we got? We got a lid. We got some tubing. Okay. We got a lovely beer bottle filler. Got some more tubing. And also what I do when I'm doing this, I don't just sanitise one fermenter, I uh, try and do a load of them. So while I'm emptying this into our other fermenters, I'll cut it here and I'll come back when we're actually putting the beer all together in our fermenter. Okay then folks, so let's start off. We're going to need two pints of boiling hot water so we'll put this in there's one and number two right let's get 500 grams of brewing sugar in there lovely jubbly and we'll put in 500 grams of our spray malt and let's put 
that in. Now this is the Munton spray mop that I bought. If you remember, I done a video on it not long ago. I've weighed it all out and that has been weighed all into 500 gram bags. So I'm going to start off. We'll mix this lot in. Because the spray malt is clumpy but because this is boiling up water it'll go into it no bother at all. Lovely rich dark colour that is. Smells absolutely wonderful. Okay, the brewing sugar and the spray malt has all but dissolved into there. So let's get this John Ball beer kit in next. And that is coming out lovely, that is. Okay. It still wants to come out. Okay. I'm going to top this up with two pints of boiling up water. Okay. Right. Let's mix all of that in. It is quite thick and gloopy, but that's to be expected. Okay. And it's a very rich dark colour that is. Smells that are coming off it are really nice. Yep, that is all mixed in. Lovely that is. Not getting any force off that spoon moving about. So that means it's dissolved in there. Really nice. Okay then. I'm going to move the camera now and we'll take it up from there. Okay then, we've got all our mix in our fermenter. We're just waiting on our tin now, so I thought while I was giving that an extra couple of minutes, I filled that with boiling hot water. I'd uh, carry on having a little slur. So let's get our beer into here. I have drank uh, <laughs> that bit because of a uh, just been pouring it out. When I originally poured it, the head was that big, so I just had what was left there. So cheers, folks. And this is our dark velvet stout. Check the head out, man. It's turning into a cracking pot, this is. Lovely juggler. Beautiful. I have gone through the kit instructions, and it's telling me this has to be between 18 and 24 uh, before we can pitch the yeast which is fair enough I normally do it around the 20 degree mark and once it is pitched it still has to be kept between those two temperatures so that's something to bear in mind folks when you do get these kits always read the instructions it doesn't matter how experienced you are it's best to just give them a read right Let's give this one last stir. Okay, then we'll pop it in our fermenter. Lovely, clean tin, that is. Let me that lid over and if you're new to the channel notice that I'm using a towel don't ever pick them tins up with your bare hands ever because with the hot water in there and with it being metal they're red up there okay just making sure all the clumps have gone and that this is properly mixed in And I don't know if you've ever tasted, what I do is, I don't generally do it on the camera, but 
When I open the tins, I have a little taste of it, uh, of what's in the actual beer kit. I also taste the malt and stuff like that because uh, if you've ever tasted Maltesers, that's exactly what it tastes like. But have a little try yourself. It's quite nice actually. Right, I think this is all mixed in. So let's go for our first bottle of mineral water. I'm getting this down the sides because we spilt a bit of the malt on the side of the fermenter. I want to get that off. I'm going to give this a great big stir. Get loads of oxygenation in there. Make sure that beer is all mixed in. Lovely that is. Now you can't really see this beer because it's got a lovely big foam head. But I'll give you a little loving look at what this actually looks like. There we go. Like I was saying, you can't really see the beer in there. But it's turning a beautiful colour and it's got a fantastic smell to it. I'm going to fill this up and we'll take it up in a few seconds. Okay then, we are now at our 20 litre mark. I haven't filled it to the 23. I want to do the brews so it gets a bit more flavour, that's why I'll be doing them now at the 20 litre mark, I think. But what I did notice is this fermenter doesn't have a thermometer on it. I thought it did. Luckily, I always keep a few spare in my drawer of goodies. So let's put one of those brand new thermometers on there. And I think. We'll put it round about here. Okay, there we go. Jobs are good. One. Let's get that flattened down because we need to know exactly what temperature this is at. Right, at the moment it's showing 26. We need that to come down between 18 and 24 before we can pitch this yeast. But in the meantime, I'm going to try a hydrometer sample. Come on, fill up. Are you floating? Right, that's floating. We'll put a little touch more in. That's it. Now, what was left in there, I did put back in the beer, but this has been fully sterilised and sanitised. So, let's get all the bubbles off that. Give it a little spin. You won't be seeing the reading for this, but I'll put it on the screen now for you folks. Anyway, this has now come down to 24 degrees, so it did say to pitch the yeast, let's have a look, uh, okay, the final temperature of the mix should be between 18 and 24 degrees Celsius, then we can pitch the yeast, so that's on 24, let's get our jerking yeast in here, and I do, uh, do like the smell of the yeast. Lovely. Let's move our spoon out of the way. Sprinkled evenly over the surface and then we'll give 
give it a little nudge into the beer, making sure that it's all off our spoon, all off the sides of the fermenter, and that it's actually in the beer. Now, I'm not really stirring it, I'm just tamping this down. Okay, I am happy with that. I'm going to make sure that it's all off our spoon, which it is. That's in there, folks. So, I think we are all done for this one. Where is my lid? Here you go. Right, that's that. I'm going to put my airlock on in a second because it's just there, it's still drying out. But that is it for this one, folks. So, cheers. That is the John Bull traditional ale, and I think it's going to be a good one. We will dry hop this after four days of fermenting, and we'll dry hop it for three days. You'll be seeing that right now, folks. Hello, folks. It's now been four days since our beers, the Burton 4X Bitter and the John Bull traditional English ale have been in the fermenters. I've weighed out our hops. I'm putting in 30 grams into each one, dry hopping, that is, of WGV English hops. So, let me quickly show you what the hops look like. Uh, you, you probably won't see these too well, but I've had these stored in the freezer and uh, we're now going to use them and dry hop our beer. It'll be in the beer for three days only because we want those flavours, those aromas that come off the hop oil to go into our beer, then we'll be taking it out. So I thought I'd just add this to the video so you could see what I was actually doing. So I'll tie these up and we'll get them in the beer. Right then, that's what our hot packet looked like. We did open these and use them on another beer. I've had these stored in the freezer to keep them nice and fresh. So start off with the John Boy kit. That looks absolutely beautiful. It smells fantastic that does. Right, that's what we ended up with. Now you can weigh these down with sanitised pebbles, things like that. Because what we want to do is we want to get all of them hops in that beer so we're getting all the oils out. Okay, that's that one. Lovely jubble. I'm just going to close it on the sides for a second. And this is the Burton 4X Bitter, this one is. Didn't want to open that, didn't you? And that looks really nice as well. What I'm going to do is open that because I want to keep that, this side up, that lid. Let me grab another spoon. Good job we've got multiples, I don't want to cross contaminate. They're the hops for this one. Let's sink that in there. Lovely job, like. Okay. Just want it the correct way. Up. There we go. Put that there. Now these are at a constant 20 degrees now, which I'm quite happy with. So, let's whack a bit of our fresh star sand in here. There we go. Right then folks, that's it for this beer. I think the next time you see it, it'll be when we're bottling it up. 
which should be in a few weeks time obviously you won't have to wait that long on the YouTube channel because I'm always quite a bit ahead so hope you enjoyed that one folks if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up leave your comments as I read them all and I'll get back to you as soon as I can I've been double tapping bye for now